Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw one of my favorite animals, and that is a white tiger. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video. Now to start off with this, we're gonna start over here on this side of our paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by drawing a little line that goes down, and then it's going to kind of come over like this. Then I'm gonna start right here, I'm gonna add a little curved line for the eye. Now, right above here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to go down at an angle, and then it's gonna come down a little farther. Then I'm just going to angle this out here and then curve around for the nose. I'm going to draw a line that just goes up and then it's going to come back here for the nose. Now starting here, we're gonna make a little line that's going to curve up and then I'm going to bring it back just a little bit. Then I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna draw a line that curves down. I'm going to add a few little kind of pointy zigzag lines and then curve it up because I want the chin to look like it's kind of furry. Next I'm going to start here and I'm going to extend that line out and then I'm going to add some little kind of pointy curved lines up here for the side of the tiger's face just to make it look like it's really nice and furry. Now starting up here I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up it's going to curve around and then come back down like this for the ear. I'm going to draw a few zigzag lines in it and then I'm going to draw a line that just curves up and then comes down. We'll connect this line here. Then starting here I'm going to jump over the ear and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to come up and then slightly down for the shoulder. It's gonna slope down just a bit. It's gonna kinda of even out. And then I'm going to just start to slowly curve this down just a little bit. Now I'm gonna jump over here and work on the legs of our tiger. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down at an angle just like this. Then I'm going to bring it straight down to about here. Then for the paw, I'm just going to draw a line that goes out. It's going to curve down and around. I'm going to make another one right here. And then I'm going to make a big one right here. We'll curve this back a little bit. I'll make a big one right here. Then we're going to bring this around. I'm going to go out. And then I'm going to slowly kind of angle it up to here. Then I'm going to draw kind of like a zigzag line across here. And it's going to start down, then it's going to slowly go up. I'm going to start here by drawing a line that's just going to go out, and then it's going to come down. I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve around, come back. We'll add another one right here for another toe. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up. And then it's going to slowly kind of slope up here. Now right here, I'm going to start up here and I'm going to draw a line that's just going to come out and then it's going to curve down like this. I'm going to add a little curved line here. Then I'm going to add another one here. And then one small one back here. Then I'm going to curve this line up to here. And then we're going to bring it all the way back towards the body. Then right on top of here I'm going to add just a couple little curved lines for the pads of the paw. Now starting here I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. 
I'm going to go over and then down. I'm going to curve around right here. Then I'm going to bring this line up. And then we're going to curve it up to here. Then starting back here, I'm just going to draw a line. It's just going to go down. It's going to curl a little bit. We're going to bring it around, and then it's going to come right back up to here. Now, we've got our basic shape of our tiger here. Now we want to come in here and add some of the different details onto here. Now, one of the first things we want to do is we want to add the stripes. So I'm going to start right around the eyes first. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little line that goes down and then another one here that just kind of connects. I'm going to add a nice big stripe that's just going to go down here and it's going to come back up. We'll add another long stripe that just goes right around here. There's lots of different ways you guys can draw the stripes. I'm just going to add some different little patterns here. I'm going to add a little line up here and then a little line right up here. I'm also going to add another little line up that goes up and down for the other ear. And then also a little line right here for the nose. I'm going to add a couple little stripes that just go right along the head here. One that just kind of runs right along the eye. I'm going to add a couple little stripes along the cheeks. And then another stripe or two right in here. Then along the back, you just want to make some nice long flowing stripes. The trick is to make the stripes different sizes, and you don't want to get stuck doing like a pat like a set pattern. You want to make these kind of random, kind of different looking. So I'm just going to kind of add all of the stripes all along here. I like to add some that get a little bit wider, and then I'll put another stripe right in between here. And then you can just kind of fill these in. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I'm just going to add some stripes going all the way along the back here. Now, once I have my stripes across the back, I'm going to add a few stripes coming up from the stomach. So we're going to kind of do the same thing. We can make some of these a little bit wider. But I'm just going to fill up the stomach here with some stripes. Then I'm also going to add some stripes on the legs here. So we're going to add a few here. And add a couple more. They're even going to have a few on the back of their legs, too. I'm actually going to make some of these stripes a little bit longer. I'm going to put a few different stripe patterns along the legs here. And we can put some different stripes going across here. And I'm going to put some going along the leg here. Now when you get to the tail, I'm going to just kind of add some more stripes, then eventually I'm just going to make them kind of connect. And they're going to just kind of have these big patterns here. And then along the tip, I'm just going to make a zigzag line. I'm going to add another little curved line here for another toe. And then I'm going to add a pupil onto our tiger. And then last I'm going to give our tiger some long whiskers. And there you go, there's your drawing of a Siberian tiger or a white Siberian tiger. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.